If you're looking for the best screen capture tool, then look no further, my friends. In this video, I'm going to share my absolute favorite tool with you, Snagit 2022. I have tried several screen recording tools in the past, and this is hands down my favorite one. Let's dive into it. I'm Amanda Horvath, and I help eliminate the obstacles to getting you sitting where I'm sitting right now, in front of the camera, sharing your message with the world. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. The number one reason why I love Snagit is because it is so easy to use. I have tried several others in the past and I am consistently going back to Snagit because of how simple it is. Now, the best part about it is that when you record a file on your computer, you are immediately ready to use it. This is different than other screen recording capture software because what might happen is you record your screen and then it's going to put it into an editing software that is going to require you to export that file before you can actually use it. Let's say you need to upload it to a Google Drive and send it to someone, then you're going to have to wait for that export time and the upload time in order to use it. So Snagit 2022 just makes this all super simple and cuts down on the amount of time that it takes from clicking capture to actually using the file. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your screen using Snagit so you can see how easy it is to do, as well as show you some additional features that make this an absolute no brainer when it comes to purchasing this software. No joke, I use this software daily. Now, if at any point throughout this video, you feel this is a tool you would like to purchase, I have linked to my affiliate link in the description below, as well as a coupon code to save you some money. Part one, record your screen. Now I wanna quickly point out that you can use screen recording for so many different things. I use it as B-roll within my videos. I might record a clip of my website real quick. And then when I'm talking about my website, I can show that on the screen or other things like that. Uh, maybe I'm talking about someone's Instagram and I wanna show their Instagram on the screen and then I can do that and many other things. Another way that I might use screen recordings is to give instructions to an outsourcer that is accomplishing a task that I need them to do or even give feedback on a video. So as I'm watching the video edit, then I can kind of talk through whatever is coming up for me in that moment instead of having to type it all in email. So there are so many different ways that you can use screen recordings within your business. So how do you actually do it? When you have Snagit open, so here we have Snagit 2022 open, and all you have to do is go up here to this S and there's several options in here. You could record your microphone. You can choose what microphone you want to use if you have another one plugged in. And I will link to a suggested microphone in the description below. So be sure to check that out if you do need that. If you wanna record your system audio, that is just the audio coming out of your computer, you would turn that on capture your cursor, different options like that, as well as recording your webcam should you wish to do that. So I'm going to turn that off. We're just gonna to stick to a simple screen recording of the screen. So I would click capture. You can either choose an area of the screen to record or you can select the full screen. So then you just go ahead and click record whenever you are ready and it will begin to count down to it actually recording on the screen. And when it ever, whenever it is recording, you know it's recording with this S that is up here at the top of the screen. So then you can navigate to wherever you, whatever you want to record. And if you're recording a browser, I highly suggest turning off your bookmarks bar just so that people don't see it, making it look really clean, closing out of any other windows just so that it once again looks clean. And then you, you can make it full screen and just go ahead and scroll to whatever you want to use. I'm just showing this page. Maybe I wanna show an interaction like, oh, someone's gonna type in their name and join my email list. So I can do that, show what that looks like. Whenever you are done with this, you just go up to the top where that S is and you click stop recording. 
And very quickly, just like that, your recording is ready to be used. With your file, you can scrub through it just by moving here. You could quickly cut just a portion of it by using this little feature and, and just cutting it right there without having to export the video again, which is really, really nice as I previously mentioned. So if you wanna do any simple edits like that, you can do that within Snagit. For now, I'm just gonna click cancel. And then you can go up here and as I was previously saying, all you have to do is go file, save as, save that file to wherever you want it to go and you can immediately use that file. So in my case, I'm often taking this file and importing it into my editing software, which is Premiere Pro if I'm using it as B-roll, or you can easily share this file, which brings us to part two. Part two, easy sharing. Now we've already saved you time from having to export your video. Now let's save you time from having to upload it somewhere and send it to someone. So right here at the top of your clip, whenever it is selected, you see the share icon. And by clicking that, you can see all of the different places that you can very quickly share your file. So let's say you are a Dropbox user and you're going to send it to someone via Dropbox. We select that it will prepare your video and then connect your Dropbox together, which you only have to do that step once. And once you've done that step once, it will automatically send to that folder. So let me show you how this works. So this is what I meant by needing to give it permission. So you just click allow and you only have to do this once, choose the application, snag it. Yes, it will go back. And all you have to do is name the file. So you can say instructions for XYZ projects, and you can choose wherever you want that to go within your Dropbox, and all of those files will automatically go to wherever you want them to save, or each time you can choose the destination. So in this case, I'll just allow it to have a TechSmith folder, click select, but if I had a specific folder that an outsourcer was accessing, I could set up that folder and every time I record a video for them, send it to there and it will automatically show up on their end. So then I click upload and I'm done. That outsourcer knows to look for that file. You can repeat this exact process in whatever software you prefer. So if you prefer Google Drive or Slack, it's got you covered. Part three, organize in the cloud. Now, some of you might be thinking, is there a way that all of the files that I just record will automatically go to the cloud and be saved for anyone on my team to access? Why, yes, my friend, I'm so glad you asked. With the new Snagit 2022, you can choose where you save your library. So you can save this to Google Drive, Dropbox, wherever it is that you want it to be. So let me show you how that is done. Go on up to where it says Snagit, drop down to your preferences and then once that is open you go over to the advanced tab and down to the auto save location you can click choose and right here you can choose to use one of your go to cloud storage software so if I wanted to save the, them to my Dropbox personal folder then I could do that automatically and the entire library will be saved there. Now you might be wondering what your Snagit library even is. So let me show you what that is and how it quickly organizes everything for you and how you can further enhance the organization if you want to. So if you click on these three lines whenever Snagit is open and then right here, this is your library. So you have all of the images that you've taken throughout the time, you have all of the, your individual files, different videos that you've taken. And I wanna point out that Snagit 2022 just dropped. So all of mine have been in Snagit 2021, uh, but when you're uploading them to the cloud, they would all be here. So this is what would show up within your Google Drive or Dropbox folder where you could easily access all the files throughout the years. As I mentioned, you can further enhance your organization by adding tags to each video. So on a video, you can go down here and click tag 
and name it whatever it needs to be. You could organize this by instruction videos, by feedback videos for editors, by process documents, or anything else that you can think of that might be beneficial to your business. So the library is a great way to keep everything nice and organized and in one place without having to spend a lot of time in organization mode. Bonus. Now, if at this point you are thinking about getting Snagit, I also wanna make you aware that Snagit is so much more than just a screen capture tool. It's actually designed to help you create process documents for your business. So this can be taking screen recordings of things and annotating them to show different steps that are available for whoever needs them. So creating instructions for your business, SOPs, different things like that. Snagit is perfect for that. And I've created another video that walks through this in detail that I will link in the description below as well as in the cards so that you can be sure to get the most out of your Snagit experience. And if you wanna take things one step further, TechSmith also has an assets for Snagit option that gives you access to over 20 million stock videos and images and annotations, stamps, all of these things that you can use within your documents to further enhance them for your business. So definitely be sure to check that out. I will link to that in the description below as well. There is truly no other tool that does all of this in one go. I am consistently finding new features that Snagit has and incorporating them within my business. I cannot express just how much I use Snagit. No joke, it's a daily occurrence in my business, so I can't recommend it enough. Be sure to grab that discount code linked in the description below. And if this video is helpful, please be sure to click like and drop your comments below. It really helps me out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.